Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and BeamNG Drive. We are building ourselves a muscle car today. It's not going to be any muscle car though, it's going to be a three cylinder muscle car. And I know that might be hard for you guys to believe, but it's possible, it's possible. What if we had a very, very large, relatively speaking, three-cylinder engine in a big old American coupe? Well, I think that's a muscle car to me, at least. Uh, I did a video like this about a year ago, and we had a 3.3-liter turbocharged inline three with, I think, 380 horsepower, which is pretty good for a three-cylinder engine. It's not bad. But, you know, of course, uh, engineering have, and design have come a long way in the year since, and we're going to go ahead and make something just a little bit better, and by a little bit, I mean a lot better today. So we are using this Mustang-ish front end body. The, the side's kind of weird. We're using this coupe-like body. We're making our own muscle car today. It's going to have partial aluminum on the panels. Monocoque chassis, because that's what every car has nowadays. Uh, we can go for light AHS steel, because everything else is kind of... We could maybe go glued aluminum. Maybe. It'd be a little weird, but it, I mean, it's, it's not impossible. It's very expensive, though. Front-mounted longitudinal, because that's what makes the muscle car a muscle car, right? Front engine, rear-wheel drive, manual transmission, and a big engine, right? That makes a muscle car. Right, and you can have a V6, a big old V6, or a big old inline four. I think in a muscle car as well. It just has to be a big engine. Um, I mean, it, it could be, it could be. It's gonna be for today. And if you guys are a purist and think a muscle car can only have a V8 engine, well, you know, I think a V10 could be could be a muscle car, a V12, any big engine, right? Relatively speaking, could be a muscle car. 3.3 liter engine, fully forged internals, because this thing. In automation, you can't really make a high revving massive. This is a massive three cylinder. It's over. It's 1.1 liters per cylinder. So, yeah, if it was a V8, it'd be 8.8, it'd be what, 8.8 .8 liters if it was a V8, which is a pretty large V8 nowadays. Max plus 15 quality, which is where all the budget's gonna come from. The entire budget is going in just to the engine. Uh, everything else is gonna be garbage, because, you know, that's that's fine, probably. Uh, we're gonna go VVT all cams, 9.5 to 1 compression. Turbocharger, ball bearing. I'm just gonna, just gonna yoink that up a little higher. We'll go for performance tune, and we're gonna give it some direct injection per cylinder. Now... Like the previous build I did with this idea, um, it was a bit of a concept car, in design at least. This is going to be a bit more realistic design, but still a concept car. So it's going to be a little more expensive. Um, it's basically a, it's going to be a range topping car. A range topping muscle car with a big three cylinder engine. You know, I'm not sure why it has a three cylinder, but it does. It's going to be around 100,000 ish is the goal, which is similar, it's not crazy more expensive. I mean, it's, it's more expensive than like a GT500. It's gonna have less horsepower, but it's gonna be pretty cool. So I like it. Uh, performance intake, premium fuel. We're gonna need more AR ratio. We're gonna need more boost. And we're gonna need a lot more fuel because it's America and fuel is probably cheap. Let's just keep increasing the fuel. Oh gosh. So already. 404. No. So 405 horsepower is the peak we can get with the fuel. We have an absolute ton of octane we'll use there. Some more 420 horsepower. Of course, there's a bit of turbo lag, but you, you can't really not have that. So that's that's okay. 10.9. We're going to give it a bigger exhaust. 5.5 inch exhaust. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's probably fine, honestly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. We'll go with 10.8 and we'll give it even more boost. And we're going to increase the cam profile. So 500 horsepower and climbing, 510. So this is going to have more horsepower than a Mustang GT350. And I think lower down torque than probably one as well, I'm guessing, because it's a flat plane crank V8. We'll get a little more for that, and we will give it no more of that. Actually, yeah, we'll give it a little more fuel, even though we're, we're, we're giving it too much already. So 520 horse, this. So 540 horse. Oh my gosh. 550, okay, this is perfect, 550 horsepower and 520 pound-feet. So this is comparable to a GT350 Mustang, um, or a, just a Camaro SS, more than a Camaro SS, I guess. Um, it's a pretty impressive amount of horsepower, I would say, for a three-cylinder engine. It's, y y yeah, horsepower to cylinder ratio is pretty off the charts. I mean, you know, it's to displacement's a little bit less, but that's okay. Rear-roll drive, a six-speed or seven-speed manual, six-speed for now. This is going to be very fast. We'll just yoink this up. We'll, we'll keep the top speed a little lower, though, just because it's not going to actually get that high. Gear at LSD sounds fine. Semi-slicks. This thing has got to have some chunky AF tires to manage all that torque. Um, 335s would be thick AF, and I kind of like it. Alloy wheels. Vented. Six-piston big boys. And vented four-piston also big boys. Fully clad under tray, and we're going to need a 
2 plus 2 seating, probably. It, it, it's a pony car, muscle car kind of thing. 2 plus 2 is reasonable. Sport and premium sounds fine. Electric power steering, I think that's about right. We can go hydraulic, a little less, a little more old school, but I think electric's fine. Launch control, advanced 20 is the best safety possible, as I'd like to do. I might change that, though. So we'll tune up for sport. So right off the bat here, we get at a very American 10.5 miles per gallon. That's that's about half as bad as everything else in America. So I think, I think we're winning in that regard, to be honest. If our car is just being judged on being American, then, then the fuel economy alone is to do that. Uh, we're going to lower the safety because, of course, it's it's a muscle car. It doesn't actually need safety. So we're getting pretty much the same as a Mustang. I think a Mustang GT or a GT350. The Mustang GT with the automatic, which is a very fast car, I guess, to be honest. Three point. We can do it in a dual clutch in 3.8. We'll do it in 3.9. Electric LSD gives us 3.7. But we can do a geared LSD. Something old school, I think. And overall, we can go all-wheel drive. It could be like a, uh, it could be a sub three second car with with all wheel drive. That's crazy. So like the basics are done. I think we're gonna make this thing look pretty muscly. It's gonna be it's already quite thick. We're gonna give it, give it some muscle car wheels. Uh, I want to style it sort of off my other Maven cars. This is an old brand I haven't used for a while, uh, but this is my American Canadian kind of you know General Motors Ford kind of brand, really generic American car company. But of course they make a muscle car because it's America. What else do you make? Uh, we're going to hop into a time lapse and design the car and do a bit more engineering tweaking. And then after that, we are going to go over the car real quick uh, and then drive it in BMG. I want to compare this thing against like some other actual BMG mods, so stay tuned for that. We're going to compare this thing head to head against some actual BMG muscle cars. So sit back, relax, guys, and I hope you enjoy. And finally, we are building our three cylinder muscle car, the Maven RMX, is what this thing's already called. Uh, so, working on the front end, it, it's going to share some similarities with the, I think the Dodge. The Dodge Charger front end top of it is going to be kind of similar. The bottom is going to be a little bit different, but it's got the same basic shape of a Charger with sort of a grill going across, but it, ours is a bit bigger, obviously. Working in the front end here, we are adding, basically just segmenting the uh, bottom front fascia, the side intakes, and the bottom grill. Adding some top pieces to actually give the grill shaping and the headlight housing shaping up top. Now, uh, this build overall took a good three or four hours, so it's definitely a, one of my longer builds, but it was a lot of fun to do. Just shaping out the front end just a bit more, adding some vents and intakes here and there. Uh, and just shaping out, adding some more little uh, intakes up top, and there's a hood scoop already on top, adding some vertical slats. I'm adding a lot of things right now, vertical slats similar to the Mercedes that are out right now. Headlights are pretty much done with an LED strip right across the front, uh, through the grille itself in the headlight housing uh, at the end. Just tweaking around with a few things on the front, tweaking things here or there, adding a bit more details. I'm trying to get this idea in my head of how I want this front end to look. Of course, we are just starting from scratch. Uh, with not much reference points, I have a uh, Dodge, I have the Camaro, I have the Mustang as reference points in front of me just to see some sort of American features. Adding a quick RMX badge to the front, which we go ahead and tweak just a little later. And adding an M for, of course, Maven Motors. That's their sort of pseudo logo right now. With some vertical slats being added to the front. Uh, taking after Mercedes' Panamericana grill, I f believe is what I sort of based it off of, but I think it looks really good uh, in the RMX. Uh, tweaking some things, adding some fog lamps to the the side air and intakes the side air curtains. Yeah, I think on the front fascia of the car. Uh, just looking at reference points now and seeing what I could do with the front, seeing if I want to add some more things to the front end, uh, like some more vertical slats, etc. We go against that though. Instead of opting just to add a front splitter, basically uh, tweaking the headlights, adding some actual glass over the headlights. Uh, playing with the colors, playing with a few things here or there, like the door handle, uh, and just adding some trim pieces, and starting on some stripes for the entire car. Now these, I tried to make them as straight as possible, but they always ended up a little bit wonky. I think they go a little bit sideways from where they start. That's okay, it still looks really good. So we finished the stripes on the front, I added some wipers onto the back. We are tweaking the back here and there, uh, adding some basic shaping and stuff. We're going to go back to that later on. I'm working on some side air curtains for the car. Uh, I do... Do the entire thing, but I end up not being very happy with it after I add a ton, and I mean an absolute ton of vents and parts to make it look kind of smooth and stuff, but I think it was just too large for my own liking. And we end up just getting rid of the entire thing. It just looks kind of awkward from the side, but I think I'll try again to do something like that in the future. Like, I do all this stuff, add some slats and stuff, but we just end up deleting that after all is said and done. Uh, going back and adding some things on the back, working on the back taillights now with an LED light bar all the way across. Uh, adding some features here and there with the LED taillights. We have a intake on the side that's just there for now. It'll change later on. Uh, playing with the taillights, seeing what I, how I want to make the taillights actually look in the final shape. I'm not the best at doing taillights. Um, the front end I think turned out really good. The back end, 
it's not bad so far. Working on our own custom rear diffuser. We want to have quad exhaust similar to the GT500 Mustang. This is a top trim car. Obviously, it's got to have some big old exhaust. We need a big, big diffuser uh, for that as well. I mean, a faux diffuser at the very least. Come on, guys. It can't be real. It's got to be fake. Uh, adding the door handle on the side or re replacing the door handle. Adding a few things to the taillights. Adding an RMX badge and a Maven badge. Uh, just reshaping the back end a little bit to make it look just that better, just that much more better. Um, the rear diffuser is done though, with the quad exhaust in place. Adding a wing, we're going to angle it up just a little bit and have a sort of ducktail spoiler. The striping along the roof is being done now. Again, this is not that fun to do, it takes a long time. It looks pretty good though, so I was definitely satisfied with how it looked. Here in front of us is the 2020 Maven RMX. And like I said in front of us is the 2020 Maven RMX concept muscle car. Uh, and it does have a little bit of similarities to my previous Maven RMX that I did, you know, about a year ago. I posted on screen, you know, yet again. Uh, so the front grille, it, it is this sort of, it's almost like a Volvo-shaped grille. The old one actually was a Volvo-shaped grille. This is like a custom almost Volvo, but it's like a bit more square. Uh, with these uh, headlight housing going sort of into the grille. A nice black stripe all the way across, which was a ton of work. And it was not fun to make, but it looks really cool. Uh, with these vertical bars, these slats on the grille, uh, they're pretty evenly spaced. Not perfect. We have some more slats up top just for enhanced performance sportiness. And some intakes underneath the headlights. Again, adding a bit more sportiness. This is a very aggressive muscle car clearly very very angry uh, not as angry as the mustangs front end or the camaros front end as far as i know but still quite angry uh it, it's a different take on a muscle car for sure we have some fog lamps or some other lights down below with some more lines or slats uh then we just have an open grill in the bottom with a pretty big chin spoiler i guess is what this is uh and it's, it's, it's quite aggressive a big old intake on the hood as well some get some air suck through the hood uh some five spoke muscly style wheels with red calipers uh this side it's a bit hard to design for this car on the side. It's very smooth on the side, but the front is quite, you know, aggressive and angry. The side's a bit more smooth, but I added this little accent line all the way across with, we have the, the handle right there, which is kind of glitched out. I don't know, I think the body, I think the body molding reset actually, that's kind of weird. Yeah, that was weird, but okay, I'll take that anyways. We have a slanted sort of vent on the side, which I, I think, do we make that? Yeah, we made that uh, with some more lines just to give it some detail and stuff and a turn signal down there as well. Going to the back here. So again, pretty simple. We have the stripe going all the way across. Uh, we have a third brake light. We have the actual brake light going across. We have like a DRL running light, I guess. And we have the actual brake light in there. The back lights aren't perfect, but they're quick and easy. And I think they look kind of cool. We have the Maven badge right there. Uh, we have the Armex badge up front. This is a concept car. I'm not sure if that'd make the production. A light bar across the front as well. Uh, some basically air channels for the rear brakes or the rear wheels and stuff to... Just help with the airflow, license is played on the back, another RMX badge, and just a simple diffuser that I made at the bottom here uh, with quad outlet exhaust, so basically just dual exhaust sort of, or quad, I'm not too sure if it's dual or quad. They look cool from afar, like that, that looks kind of cool, I like, I like how that looks. The whole profile of this car is, is quite Mustang-ish, a large greenhouse in this body, probably a little larger than I probably would have liked, but that's okay. I think the car... Definitely one of my favorite builds uh, at this point in time. I love the front end. This is Maven's new front end design, I think, uh, what we're going to have from now on. Uh, it might change a bit. It might not change a bit if we do more Mavens in the future. Uh, the final performance, 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. Uh, for 550 horsepower, it's not the craziest. I think it's the same as the Mustang GT350. Um, I'm not sure about the equivalent Camaro, but the Mustang GT350 has got 525 or so horsepower. Uh, that's with a 5.2 liter flat plane crank and a v8 some thick af tires in the rear 305s uh, a little bit of oversteer to understeer later on and the brakes they are very overkill but <laughs> that's fine for now uh marginal downforce this thing can actually do a top speed uh, theoretically at least of 350 kilometers an hour that's i think 217 218 miles an hour almost 220 miles an hour for a three-cylinder that's pretty unheard of if you ask me. The budget though, uh, after all this stuff, it, it's gonna be a little little much. It, this is a concept car, I guess. Uh, or maybe it's just a one-off kind of car because it's got a very unique engine. 128,000 USD. 
it's a bit pricey, I would say for sure, for any three-cylinder, but it's, I think it's more of a, just a party trick of a car, it's just there to exist and not really to be a mass market vehicle, uh, but yeah, that is the Maven RMX, we're gonna hop into Beeman G, I wanna compare this thing, if we can, to some real American muscle cars to see which one, or see if our Maven RMX can keep up with the American competition. So finally guys, we're in Beeman G Drive with the Maven RMX. It looks pretty good in Beeman actually, it looks quite good. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple of things. Uh, I wanna take this thing on a track test and see what it can do for lap times. Before that though, the, the most important thing of any muscle car, to prove that it is a muscle car, is, is it any good on the drag strip? And can it compete with other muscle cars, right? So we are going to verse a Mustang, and not just any Mustang, we're gonna verse pretty much every Mustang we can uh, against the Maven RMX to see you know, which category this thing falls into. A lot of people uh, would say that the Mustang V6, the old V6, I think it's the 3.7 V6, I'm not too sure, and a Mustang, is that really a muscle car? It's more of just a cheap sports car. Uh, they discontinued the V6, now we have the EcoBoost. Uh, and some people would say that's not really a muscle car either. It doesn't have the cojones, it's not a big engine. This thing is a 3.3 liter though, it's, it's larger than the four cylinder uh, with a lot more power, so we'll see if we can consider this thing an actual Mustang. Uh, we're gonna do a solo drag strip, maybe at some point, but we're gonna do a multi, just a, a challenge I guess. We're gonna accept this challenge, we're gonna hop in to a Mustang, a proper Mustang. We're gonna verse a few cars first. We're gonna start off with the V6, then we can go to the EcoBoost, then we can go to the GT, uh, and so on and so on. If we fight the best of the best, we can go to the Drag Mustang. I don't think we'll be able to take much of these Mustangs, but I'm, I'm sure we can take the V6. We're going to hop into... Uh, we're going to verse the V6 Automatic, I want to say. We'll select vehicle. We'll do just a normal race against the V6 Automatic Mustang. We'll see him rolling up here. We'll launch it. Oh, God. It sounds depressingly slow. This thing is much quicker than the V6 Mustang. That's, that's a plus. 060 accomplished in about 3 9 seconds according to automation. Finishing the quarter mile in a pretty brisk 12 seconds versus 13 3 at 106 miles an hour, and we did 120. Uh, 100, I think miles an hour. So we did quite a bit faster. Quite a bit faster uh, than the V6 Mustang. Now we can hop in to something a little more impressive. So right here, the EcoBoost Mustang is uh, just coming up to- this is the pre-refresh EcoBoost Mustang. I think it's got the same power as the post-refresh. There's also the EcoBoost Performance Pack, which is the- I think the Ford Focus RS, the old RS engine. Uh, we don't want to verse that today. We're going to line up nice and easy here. We'll go a little more. We'll launch it for neutral again. Bit of delay on both our sides. The reaction time was not that great. Oh yeah, oh, we, we just oh we just got disqualified. Oh gosh, that's not ideal. That's okay though. I'll take that as a victory. Victory in my books. We got disqualified. 100, so same speed, 120, 12.3 versus 15, 49. The V6 was faster than the EcoBoost. So we've opted straight to hop against the GT Mustang, which I don't know if you guys know any Mustang models and stuff. The GT is the base V8 model, so there was a V6 in the past, now there's not. So it's a four-cylinder, a V8, and then you got a NA V8 that's better, and a supercharged V8. So we're going to roll up to the NA V8. It's got about 400, and I think this is pre refresh so I think it's 420 horsepower versus our 550. So it should still be a pretty easy win for us. A little farther. We're good. Launch it from neutral because that's easier. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a very realistic launch. How? I've got way more horsepower. No way that that's legit. An 11.3 with 420 horsepower? Like, 12 seconds is very, it's, it's quite quick. 11.3, 124 versus 120. So I think we were actually pulling a little bit on the end. Uh, we were catching up speed-wise. Um, what is like a 2016 Mustang GT actually doing the quarter mile? Uh, that's what we gotta check right now. So 2016 Mustang GT, 12.9 it should be able to do. This did it an 11.3? What? What does the GT500 do it in? What? A GT500 can do 11. High 10s. This is high 11s with just 420 horsepower instead of 760. Uh, we're gonna hop just for fun, I guess, because, wow, this clearly loses to the... I don't know how the V8 is so quick in this game. That's okay, we're gonna verse the GT500. Come on, let's see what we can do. That was a perfect start. We couldn't have gotten a better start. Oh my gosh! Holy cow, look at that thing go! Wow, the Mustang GT500 is very... It does it in a sub... Sub 9 second quarter mile. 
what's the fastest quarter mile? What's like a um? I think the nine the, nine, the new nine eleven Turbo S is a fast quarter mile, right? Nine eleven Turbo S quarter mile. So the nine eleven Turbo S can do the quarter mile in about ten seconds flat. This thing, and that thing has got all-wheel drive, it's got like 600 horsepower, 640 horsepower, uh, and the 911 is also known for being incredibly quick in general, I think it's like one of the fastest cars in the quarter mile right now. We're at the automation test track, ESC will plop that right off, we'll hop into, we'll hop into first person for this, no, we'll hop into third. What a third person here, second gear it is. So 0 60, 4.3, we're gonna restart that, that can't, we'll, we'll do a bit better, we'll do better, we'll do better. Uh, 4.3. So on a little bit of a less grippy surface, on a, a non-drag surface, 4.3 is totally acceptable. Um, similar to a automatic or to a, a manual for sure Mustang GT, it's handling the corners quite well. It's a little bit boaty. You can tell it's got some body roll, but that's okay. Not the end of the world to have that. Definitely, definitely got some muscle car characteristics handling wise. Oh, it doesn't like those corners. It's not a corner car for sure. Even though it's got a three-cylinder, you think it'd be a little nimble. No, it's not nimble at all. Coming to this corner of the bend. Yeah, that wasn't bad, though. It comes alive pretty good in the straights here. It's for sure stable. It's actually... Okay, this car is actually larger than the Mustang. Uh, full disclosure, it's about, I think, three inches longer of a wheelbase. I'm not sure total length, but the wheelbase is longer, so it, it's probably going to handle better at high speeds. A little sketchy in that corner for sure. We're a manual gearbox, so with an automatic, a dual clutch for sure, uh, it'd be faster. But that's not that's not the American way. It's got to be a manual, a V8 manual rear-wheel drive car. Nothing else will do for America, even though this is a, you know, a three-cylinder. But, you know, small changes, of course, guys. Come on. It's pretty quick so far in the test track. We're going to break here at just under 100. Down to first, please, and thank you. It's handling the twisty bits. Not bad, though. For... Uh, you know, a, th what, almost 4,000 pound beast? It's doing pretty appropriate. But it's weight. The black stripe actually looks phenomenal in BMG. It's a little bit glitchy in one spot there, but eh. Stay in seconds. Nice and wide. Not wide enough, but that's eh, okay. We're not, this is my first time on this track with this car ever, so I'll let it slide. Down to 30, we'll stay in third. Bit of understeer. Oh, and there's some uh, there's some oversteer. I don't like that. The roof looks kind of plain to me, but it's not. It's, it's okay. Uh, a two eleven or two twelve? I'll take a two twelve. I'll take the two twelve. I think this thing. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call, go ahead and say it that you can in fact make a muscle car in BMG with a three cylinder. I think. I think what we gotta ask ourselves, guys. It, you know what? It, it's not necessarily about. You know the engine itself, or what? How much cylinders do you have? Because I think a muscle car can have a V10, a V12, a V8 for sure, right? It can have tons of cylinders. Um, like I would say, the you know you could consider the, the the Dodge Viper as a muscle car. It's also a sports car and supercar, but I would say it's it's definitely a muscle car. It's got a massive engine, rear wheel drive, manual gearbox. What more could you ask for, really? Uh, just like I could say that a massive three cylinder, comparatively, a 3.3 liter three cylinder is astonishingly large for a three cylinder. Very very awfully and rough probably but I would say that that's that's beefy enough because if this was inline six it'd be like a seven liter inline six right a 6.6 .6 liter inline six would be again massive uh, and I think we could consider the three cylinder muscle car I love this body line actually looks really good on the side there but I'm gonna consider the Maven RMX to be a true muscle car maybe if you guys want I'll make a V8 uh, of this at some point let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see me modify this car because I think it looks beautiful in BMG definitely got a muscle car look to it uh, and it's got the performance at least to back up a muscle car. We're just going to sit here uh, and finish off the video with a quick burnout because, nope, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad at all. Not bad. It doesn't burn out. The Maven RMX, guys. If you guys like the video, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for some more automation, Beam and G, and just whatever content. More content's coming. Hope you guys are having a great uh, December so far. Uh, join the Discord linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, and, of course, as always, I'll see you next time.